Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another great video for you guys. This is another one that everybody wants to see. One of the internet's hottest questions for the TRX. Can it tow? I'm sure you've seen it in the thumbnail. I'm sure you saw it already behind me, but there is a surprise. My 2013 Ram's here too. So we're gonna do a little 1500 versus 1500 in a towing competition. The interesting thing about this, obviously, Hellcat engine, eight speed transmission, 355 gear ratio. Interesting thing about this truck. 5.7 liter Hemi, six speed automatic, 355 gear ratio in this as well. We're gonna be towing my 2014 Dodge Dart here. Uh, I'm pretty sure darts range right around 3,300 pounds, I think. Uh, my trailer's like 1,500 to 2,000. I'm not 100% sure on that exact weight, unfortunately. So I expect this trailer to be pretty much 5,000, 5,500 pounds, somewhere in there. So we got a camera car here today, Eva's Ford Fusion Hybrid to cancel out all the pollution we're about to put out here with the TRX. Grant's gonna be hanging out of the side, getting some good footage, some good angles for you. Eva's the chauffeur here. So, hey, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get it done. We're also gonna record the gas mileage of these two vehicles. I'll delete the recent history of both vehicle when I start driving. So we'll drive the same loop and drive it the exact same. I won't be racing anybody in the TRX with a trailer on it. But these uh, economy numbers should be pretty accurate for you guys and let's get after it, let's go. So as promised, we're gonna start out here in the TRX. Trailer's loaded up. Eva and Grant are ready to go in the Fusion Hybrid. Mustache is looking good. I'm gonna delete my gas mileage history here and uh, we'll do a quick loop. We'll let you know what we got. We'll measure the squat and that's about that. I'll tell you how it's going during the drive. Let's get started. So an important thing to note when you're towing a trailer that's this heavy and it has a trailer brake option to make sure you set up your trailer brake in your in your settings in this truck on your radio. Also, the good thing about this truck in specific, it has blind spot monitoring which actually reads how long your trailer is and adjusts your blind spot according to how long your trailer is. So right now my radio cluster actually shows that I'm 30 foot long with a little little trailer emblem. And if somebody's in the blind spot of where my trailer is, it actually still populates the blind spot monitoring tab on the mirror. Here we go, we're gonna pull out, get some good supercharger for you guys. Oh my God, this thing's still fast. How is it this still that, oh my gosh, I can't even speak how fast this is with this trailer still. Oh my goodness. So right off the gate between this and my white truck, obviously I've towed about 10,000 miles so far with that truck and it has about 50,000 miles on it. So a fifth of its life. And the difference between the truck is obviously this one has a lot more power. It's a lot easier to pull out with this truck from a red light, from a stop sign, merge onto the highway. Um, it's easier to get on power to pass somebody that's in front of you. It's, it's a lot more fun of a vehicle to be towing with. A downside of this vehicle is that there's a lot more bounce, obviously, because it has that Baja suspension. That's why the towing rating is so low. That's why it's so much lower than every other 1500 or every other half ton on the market these days. Another awesome feature about the TRX is the tow mode. So tow mode, it puts the transmission in tow. It puts the paddle shifters on. So if you want to hit some downshifts coming up to a light or a stop sign to help yourself slow down so you don't use your brake pads as much, that's a really good option. It puts stability control on full, so you're not gonna spin any tires. You're gonna make sure that you put all the torque that you could possibly can down to the ground. Since you do make 650 pound feet in this truck, it's really important that you put that torque down to the ground. The suspension goes into sport, which we've talked about before on my launching video. Go check it out if you haven't. Um, that sport is the stiffest suspension setting that you could possibly have. So that makes sense that it puts the suspension in that. And then the steering goes to street which honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of. I'd rather put the steering in sport. I like the heaviness of it, um, but you know, it's not that bad. You I'm know? really impressed by the TRX towing this right now because it's not as bouncy as you would think it would be. You feel it on the suspension, but power-wise, it's almost like it's not even there. I, I would be willing to bet that the TRX with this trailer is faster than the white truck from, from the whole zero to 60, maybe a 40 roll. I bet you this is probably faster than my white truck which, you know, is kind of impressive because the white truck's still pretty quick. It's not a slow truck. There's some railroad crossings on this road that we're on right now, and the truck just soaks them up, just soaks them up still. It's so impressive. I'm really impressed by this truck. This truck is so good. If you think it can't tow your toys, you're wrong. This truck can tow your toys. 
with Grant hanging out of the Eva's car right now, I really hope you guys get some really good sound clips from this. <laughs> opinion it should come through really well it is an iphone mic so it might not i think you just see him right there did you see him there he is hanging out the window man i got really good friends i got really good friends to help me make this video you guys you guys better subscribe share like and comment just for the hard work that eva and grant had to put in for this video that's it just for them they deserve it so there you go we're parked we're about to swap trucks here and i don't want to tell you this gas mileage because i feel like it's not fair for the truck because I did floor it maybe once or twice or a few more times. <laughs> so it's six miles to the gallon. Um, not a fair loop, I guess. I'm not gonna probably drive the white truck the same, so it's gonna be higher. Also, it's not a Hellcat, so probably gonna be higher anyway. Six miles to the gallon. I could have definitely done better if I drove it better. I told you I was gonna drive it good. I did not. But so let's get out now. We'll take some measurements of the truck loaded and unloaded and just see how much of a impression the trailer had on the truck suspension and compare the two between the 2021 Ram TRX and the 2013 Ram 1500 with the Hemi. I'm sorry, there's a highway still next to us. So it's gonna probably be a lot of background noise. About five and a quarter from the, t uh, from the tire to the top of the bedside here. And the trailer's about 11 and a quarter off the ground. So with that, we'll unload the truck here. We'll see how much room is spared up and then we'll hook the white truck up. We'll do the same measurements. Now with the truck unloaded here, uh, seven and three eighths. I forget what it was off the top of my head, but I'll put it up here. This way uh, we have a remembrance of how much of a separation or differential that actually is. So the interesting thing with this truck, I do have airbags installed inside the rear coil springs since the, both of these trucks have coil spring rear suspension. This one has airbags, the TRX does not yet. And they are filled up with about 40 PSI right now. So that's gonna combat some of our squat. So first things first, unloaded, seven and a half tire defender. So now the truck's got the trailer on it, six and a half tire defender. So that's only about an inch of squat. Now let's measure trailer height off the ground like we did in the TRX. Trailer height's about 10 and a half inches, so about three quarters of an inch lower, I think. I'll put that measurement on the screen again too. I can't necessarily remember off the top of my head. So let's get to it with this. We'll get a little tag along just so you guys can see the footage and the differences and the comparisons between the two. Here we are back in the 2013, gonna do the same loop. Oh, I have to reset my gas mileage. There's the TRX parked over there. Let's do that quick comparison for you guys. So right off the bat, pulling out, noticeable torque difference, but not by much. The white truck, this white one, you know, 410 pound feet of torques, nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. It makes a lot of torque. It'll tow whatever you want to tow. You know, this, you know, this is a really good truck. It tows really well. And I'm always impressed by this one. Always impressed by this truck. I love it to death, which is why I never got rid of it. That's why I kept it when I bought the TRX. The Hemi makes power. The Hemi makes power. Here's a little throttle for you guys. All the torques, all the torques right there. There's some bounce to it. It's a stiffer bounce though. I feel like it doesn't resonate as long, you know? I think it's a stiffer bounce back, a stiffer return. I think the suspension of this feels better. I think if you could mix the power of the TRX with the suspension of this truck, you would have a really, really good pickup, which at that point in time, you have a three quarter ton. So if your purpose is to tow, you should probably look at a three quarter ton or a one ton. Half ton's not gonna cut it for you. But if you're a weekend warrior or something like me, tow around a bunch of Jeeps, go mudding, have toys, half tons are fine. And both of them, you can't really lose. You can't really lose. I talked about the TRX having paddle shifters to help you slow down if you want to. In tow haul mode in this truck, it'll downshift for you coming up to a light, coming up to a stop sign, you know? It knows whether you're, you're on the brakes if you're trying to slow down, so it downshifts for you. It's not as significant as you could want it to be. Maybe like with a paddle shifter, it'll only rev out to maybe like 2200 RPM, which does help, but it's not super impactful. On over the railroad crossing, here comes it in the white truck. Beautiful, beautiful mint. If you tow for a living, if you run construction for a living, 
You should probably not want a 1500. You shouldn't probably want a half ton. And a TRX probably isn't going to cut it for you because the suspension's soft. But will it tow well? Will you be able to get to your destination? Will you be able to get where to wherever you want? Yes. And that's the important thing. And the important thing is you can buy that truck, you can have fun with that truck, but you can also tow your other toys with it a couple days out of the year. And you're gonna be completely okay. And that's what this has proven. That it's pretty much on par with any other 1500. And in fact, it could be even a little bit better because of the torque that it makes and the ability it has to tow things that are super heavy. The important thing is that you feel comfortable in what you're driving and what you're towing with. So if you feel comfortable in a, 50, in a normal 1500, then drive the normal 1500. But if you feel comfortable in the TRX, then drive the TRX. If you don't feel comfortable in either one, then don't tow with either one. Buy a different truck, buy a three quarter ton, buy a Chevy, buy a Denali, buy a Duramax, you know? It is all on what you feel comfortable in towing with. But can you tow with the TRX? The answer is yes. The answer is completely yes. Here we are all parked in the white ram 1500 and our gas mileage is seven and a half miles a gallon so one and a half miles a gallon better i don't think i was fair in the trx so the longer that you are watt in that truck the more fuel you're going to use compared to this one so i think that i could have done better i think i could have gotten at least seven out of it i think that they would have been relatively similar now a thing to keep in mind here is that truck has to run premium and the 2013 with the 5.7 only has to run 89 so it's a little bit worse fuel economy with more expensive fuel so you will be paying more at the pump unfortunately but is it worth it that's a decision that's up to you all right guys so can the ram trx tow of course it can tow it'll have no problem towing your toys your whatever you want to drive around on the weekend your boat your side by side your jeeps it's a great great addition to your fleet as you can tell but if you're buying the TRX to tow, you probably want to look elsewhere. The 1500 does just as good. The suspension's probably a little bit better, but the TRX obviously got more power. So it's just a little bit better, as Grant was showing you guys. <laughs> so that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you you liked it you better like the video you better subscribe to the channel there's way better content than this coming out this one could have been better but i'm not a vlogger yeah you gotta cut me a little bit of slack grant and eva their instagram at will be in the description check them out grant uh probably shouldn't follow him but definitely check out eva we used her gasoline today so all right guys that's it peace started this just so you can see grant oh nope grant's never mind oh, oh, blah, 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 blah. So welcome to my channel. Today we'll be reviewing the Ram, what's it called again? TRX. The TRX. So hopefully it runs pretty well and we're going to show you all these tips and tricks on how to properly drive this vehicle. Um, here with me is my co-driver Grant. He's how you doing? in the back seat because he's not heavy enough for the airbag. So. <laughs> He's a literal child sitting back here. He's a literal child. I should have brought his car seat. <laughs>